this will be um, a makeup for uh, the presentation that I missed before. Uh, my topic that I want to concentrate about is uh, iPhone um, jailbreaking or gaining access to mobile user data. Uh, most people who are um, who are interested in um, especially developers who are very interested, you know, finding new opportunities, softwares, and tricks for uh, you know phone users came up uh, um, from um, a different kind of. Uh, you know places uh, the one person that kind of changed the big thing about Apple operating system is uh, um, his name is um, Jay Freeman shark this person actually created Cydia this is uh, a third almost uh, probably way better than Apple store they have uh, so much capability and so much uh, softwares uh, themes tweaks uh, including my favorite um, my Wii 8 which is a Wi-Fi hotspot support you can use your iPhone or your iPad to use uh, your phone as a hotspot support even you can create a, a virtual private network using your iPad um, I'll try this uh, future but didn't work out but um, even you have a software that's called 3gen restrictor uh, it actually tricks Wi-Fi to use um, tricks apps that use only Wi-Fi and makes them use to use the internet. So this um, application have so much, so much inside of it, which uh, that's that's why I always like to jailbreaking my stuff. Even though um, I just got um, not that just got a couple um, maybe a six seven months ago I just got an iPhone five. S and then I jailbreaked it even though uh, Apple say you avoid your warranty uh, blah 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 this this that but the features that's that's um, embedded in the CD are, are just so much and tremendous that you just you know can resist uh, having a phone without jailbreaking it of course I know a lot of people will say you will have a problem um, you will have a problem and um, uh, security features um for example apple try to um say they have the best security features nobody could any you know jailbreak their device or because they worked so hard to ensure that no one is accessing you know um they their data um but um um pretty much another thing that i want to mention about is um um jailbreak the traditional method um most people don't like jailbreaking because they don't like softwares and systems you know that works uh, very differently they just like something that have a better graphical user interface which they don't want to you know tweak softwares and do stuff even though um, i just started working you know with computers maybe five six years ago i learned a lot of things very interesting about computers and all this new devices you know that's taking over all the world um um another subject that i want to topic of course um when you have actually when you jailbreak your iphone you'll have um execution of unauthorized this is called an execution of another third party application that's what apple um describe it but actually um you can have a full read and write actually elevated right when you jailbreak your iphone elevation of privileges you'll have a full um, elevation of privileges that you can change you can um, rename files you can add SQL documents you can even c edit what's inside the phone you can actually use it like as a forensic device that everything that's in the you can actually access the phone directly um, like using a forensic device I had um, a project about the software that I um, that actually uses um, that actually accesses file jailbreaking is um, a better a better option than um, using those forensic softwares because jailbreaking you can actually have a hardcore understanding of the basic files and how everything is working operating uh, and uh, working and operating as um, as how this person Jay Freeman created and there is actually um, jailbreak uh, question and answer support and there's actually a huge community called dev team 
um, if you have any questions about, you know, um, not making um, or if you have a problem, uh, let's say most of the time your version, your iPad version and your um, your whenever app, Apple upgrades or um, produces a new operating system, the, the person who also jailbreaks or create the tweak or the software need to update their um, system software that's unfortunate but they always have to update their their version of course so to make it seamlessly work with the new operating system or a new operate or new bug that updated up, apple updated um pretty much that's um generally uh, all i want to talk about but the last thing that i want to mention how I connected with system administration is nowadays um, most people are actually um, using using um, hands hands handheld devices almost like, almost close to computer compared to you know computers having like this uh, like that big over um, the past five six years but now it everything will be handheld I will I will say this will be um, my opinion uh, wasn't 10 20 years people will have very smart and small um handheld devices that kind of function the same as a computer or better which is already happening now but um just i will say having um cedia uh, kind of changed my experience in a very different way because uh, i never really understand it how how the file system and how everything worked hardcore using uh, the operating system of um, um, a software. Um, so um, that's what's my uh, presentation about. Last thing that I want to mention, I forgot, is uh, jailbreaking is actually it's um, risk altering data which you must preserve it for reason of uh, leads to behavioral changes. Um, okay. Um,